the fees is another um, reason um, USCIS will send an RFE or might sometimes reject the petition. The, when, we, when I say reject, the mail room will reject the petition without even looking at the merits of the case. So uh, this is uh, one thing to watch out for. Fees are very complicated. They've always been for H1, the fees have always been complicated and now even more so because the fee is increased and they've added uh, another additional fee called an asylum fee. And uh, you have to actually, and it's not, it's kind of, if you have not, if you're not familiar with immigration law, it's tough to figure out what the fee will be because they're in different places. So, uh, please be careful when you're um, sending out your check. Uh, you have to pay um, your um, the regular basic fee. You have to pay a fraud fee. The basic fee is 460. If uh, you are 25 or below and it's been increased, I believe, to 780, if it's um, 25 or above, uh, and you also have an asylum fee, a new fee, which is 600 if you are uh, above 25 employees, and it is 300 if it is below 25 employees, then you have the the existing fee that used to be there, which is 750, 1500. Again, 750 if it's below 25. Uh, and 25 employees, and then you have a 500 fraud fee, which everyone has to pay, unless it's an extension. So you see how complicated this is. Um, you so you really have to watch out for those fees. And also simple things, even if you get the fee right, make sure you write the check correctly, and make sure you put separate checks for each fee. Don't add everything and put it in one check. Uh, so you might end up uh, sending three or four checks to USCIS for the, all the different fees. So do that and make sure you sign the check, write the correct word, write the date. Uh, otherwise, your case will come back. So uh, that's about the fees. Don't forget to subscribe to our videos if you like what you see. Also, give us a thumbs up and share the video with your family and friends. Thank you.